coach first year now taking over for, for Frank Gendusa, a legend in the in the game. Uh, the coverage's not there by any means, but no. still taking this over for the first time yourself. Just your thoughts heading into the season. Yeah, I, I, I think we're in a good spot. I really couldn't ask for us to be in a better position than we're in right now. Uh, the kids have been great. The families have been great. The support has been great. And uh, I'm just really blessed to have another opportunity. Coach Jim Deuce has done a good job of slowly turning the program around the right way. And uh, I get to pick up with the program in a good spot. And uh, hopefully we can build it to have continued success. Of course, any conversation has to start about your team with Harlem. Absolutely. What, what has he done? I mean, obviously, he's so highly regarded out there. And just a junior, uh -huh. what has he done and what have you seen that make him even better heading into his junior season? Yeah, so Harlan Berry is a better person than he is a player. And that, that that's tough to believe, but it's very true. And um, Harlem has great goals and dreams and ambitions for himself, so he continues to work hard every day. Uh, Harlem's gotten a lot bigger. Uh, a lot stronger, obviously still very fast, and um, he looks the best that I've ever seen right now. He's working really hard, and I think the sky's the limit. I think from a head coaching standpoint, what we've got to do is to continue to build and develop around him and not just count on him every night uh, because the ultimate goal is to try to make it to the end. So around him, where, where do you think you're strongest to help him in whether it's other spots of the offense or on defense? Yeah so, yeah, so offensively, I think we're going to be very dynamic and very explosive offensively. We've got a really good offensive line up front, a lot of veteran players there. Uh, and then our new quarterback that's taken over is a very dynamic player in Ashton Oliver. He can throw the football. He can run it. He's doing a really good job of learning right now. And um, I think Ashton is, is really bright, and I think we're going to be able to throw the football some as well as run it. And I don't think we're going to have to rely on Harlem every play, but it is a luxury knowing when other things aren't working, you can just turn around and toss him the football. Talk about your schedule this year. I mean, obviously, coming off the, the season you had a year ago, you're going to, you, you might have you might have surprised some people maybe along yeah. the way last year, but now maybe you are, you know, you're the target for, for a lot yeah. of people as you, as you go through the, the regular season this year. Yeah, what I've got to explain to our kids and, and what I want to make them understand is, yes, a lot of people have us circled and want to take us down, but we want to keep the hunter's mentality. We want to continue to uh, be the underdog and still continue to have something to prove on our end. And, uh, yeah, there's no secrets, no surprises about who we are, but we've still got to stay hungry and determined and keep that mindset of, of an underdog. Last question. Yes, sir. That'd be amazing. I mean, who, who could even write that story? Uh, that's something our kids talk about. I don't spend a lot of time speaking with them about that. I want them to understand the process and working hard. But uh, if that were to happen, I mean, what a dream come true and what that would tell that community. You can have great academics and great athletics to go along with it. And uh, we can have the best of both worlds there at St. Martin's. We want everybody to know that we are taking the athletics as well as the academics serious. And we want future generations of kids to look at St. Martin's when they're getting ready to pick them uh, middle school and high school. Coach, best of luck this year. Yes, sir. Thank you so much.